did you know? In Pikmin 3, the Japanese name for the scaly custard item translates to crocodile scrotum. This item is actually an avocado, so its Japanese name is likely a reference to its wrinkly skin. There's actually a whole bunch of other interesting changes that were made throughout the Pikmin series. In the Japanese version of Pikmin 2, the silencer item was worth 666 pokos. This was changed to 670 pokos in the international release because of the religious connotations of the number 666. When the Pikmin games were re-released on the Wii as part of the new play control line, the Wallywog and Wogpole enemies had their names changed to Wally Hops and Walpoles in Europe. This was most likely done to avoid using a certain word that is a rarely used racial slur in the United Kingdom. This change was also made in the European release of Pikmin 3. The most drastic regional change was made to Pikmin 2. The Japanese version actually featured support for the Game Boy Advance Game Link Cable and e-reader peripherals. By scanning cards on the e-reader, the player could play three different minigames on their Game Boy Advance, Pikmin Plucking, Pikmin Parts, and Pikmin Path. These minigames were removed in the international versions of the game, as the e-reader had already been discontinued in the US and was never officially released in Europe. There's a large amount of unused content left behind in the Pikmin games. The first Pikmin game contains data for an enemy called Iwajen that attacks by shooting rocks at the player. The name is a combination of Iwa, the Japanese word for rock, and generator. There's also an entry in Olimar's log for the final day, where he celebrates collecting all the parts for his ship and wonders whether he will ever see the Pikmin again. This is impossible to view normally since collecting the final part of the ship immediately triggers the game's ending. The GameCube disc for Pikmin also contains a Windows exe file that can be used to run the game in a debugging mode on PC. The game is missing most of its assets, unless the player enables game mode in the debug menu, at which point it can be played somewhat normally. However, Olimar's health will always be set to zero, and there are still some graphical bugs and crashing issues as well as a complete lack of audio. Pikmin 2 contains several treasures that didn't make it to the final version. Among these unused treasures are four GameCube discs for Super Mario Sunshine, Luigi's Mansion, The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, and the original Pikmin. The files for Pikmin 2 also contain images from the Namco arcade game Mappy. It's not known why the images were there, though they were likely just used for testing purposes. There's also data for a seventh type of Pikmin alongside the five normal colors of Pikmin and the Bulbmen. Hacking the game to add the seventh type to your party reveals that they're actually Pick Pick Carrots. The carrots behave like normal Pikmin, though they lack animations and HUD icons. There are several interesting easter eggs and tidbits in the Pikmin games that aren't obvious at first glance. If the player collects all of the treasures in a cave in Pikmin 2, waiting at the results screen for 3 minutes and 50 seconds will cause Totaka's song to play. In our last Pikmin video, we shared an easter egg where the Pikmin sang the tune of Aino Uta. Pikmin 3 continued this by including several more secret songs. If the player has a group containing 20 Pikmin of each type, the Pikmin will sing the game's theme song. However, if the player has 100 Pikmin of the same type after all types are made available, the Pikmin will attempt to sing the theme song, but do it poorly. If a group of 20 Pikmin are left alone by themselves, they'll sing along with the area's background music. And if the player walks around with no Pikmin following them at all, the game's protagonists sing the tune of the game's Planet Kopai theme using only the word Kopai. The name Kopai actually comes from Nintendo itself, which used to be called Nintendo Kopai when it was still a playing card manufacturer. Spread throughout Pikmin 3 are messages written in Kopai text. It is possible to decipher these messages, as every symbol in the Kopai script equates to one or two letters in the English alphabet. Many of the messages are just flavor text, but some of them appear to be developer comments left over from pre-release builds of the game, describing specific aspects of the levels, items, and characters. Aside from the three main entries in the series, there was almost another game that would have featured Pikmin characters. It was an experimental game in development for the GameCube, titled Stage Debut. The game would have used the cancelled Game Boy Advance peripheral, the Game Eye, to take pictures of players' faces and paste them onto 3D models. Players could then interact with characters from Pikmin, Mario, and Animal Crossing. A portion of Stage Debut heavily influenced the creation of Nintendo's Miis and the Mii Channel. Some have also speculated that Stage Debut influenced the development of Nintendo Land. During the development of Pikmin 3, tests were performed on the DS and even the 3DS. In an interview with Japanese site 4Gamer, series creator Shigeru Miyamoto stated, The truth is, we were doing prototype tests of Pikmin for the DS and 3DS, but it turned into unit management with only the touchpad. And no matter what, it just didn't seem like Pikmin. We concluded that Pikmin is a game that revolves around action based on its controls, and the strategy sits on top of that. This complete experience is an important element of Pikmin. 
The handheld editions aren't the only aspects of Pikmin 3 that didn't come to fruition. An early piece of concept art showed designs for four characters labeled A, B, C, and D. A, B, and C appear in the final version of the game as Alf, Brittany, and Charlie, but the fourth character, D, does not. Based on the names, some fans speculate that this fourth character would have been named Drake, and when he was cut, his name was instead given to the character's ship, the SS Drake. Although Drake is named after Alf's grandfather in the game, it may also be a reference to the Elizabethan navigator Sir Francis Drake, who carried out the second circumnavigation of the world. All three games in the Pikmin series take place on the same planet, which went unnamed until Pikmin 3 dubbed it PNF-404. The name is based on NASA's naming conventions for lesser planets, and also appears to be a reference to the HTTP error code 404, which means page not found. The appearance of the continents on PNF-404 underwent a change in Pikmin 3, and they now bear a striking resemblance to Pangaea Ultima. Pangaea Ultima is a scientific estimation of what Earth will look like 250 million years in the future based on the movement of the Earth's tectonic plates. Don't forget to subscribe to Did You Know Gaming for more facts and trivia. If you like this video, consider giving it a like or a share. And if you're a fan of Pikmin, check out the last Did You Know Gaming Pikmin video. And while you're at it, why not check out my video on Stardew Valley. It's that farming game with all the hot people. It's a really fun one. Uh, go check out the video and maybe subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.